several families who get money from the state to help with the care of disabled children or elderly family members say they haven't received money from the state in months. And for some, it's their only source of income. WKRG News 5's Jeremy Jones caught up with a Robertsdale family who's looking for answers. All right. This is Lyric and her mother, Casey Prescott. She was diagnosed with a hyperplastic right heart syndrome, also pulmonary stenosis. Um, she was diagnosed with pulmonary hypertension. She has severe asthma and what they call tracheomalacia. And because of Lyric's medical conditions, she requires around the clock care. And to help with that, Prescott is one out of several people in the state who receive financial help from the Alabama Department of Senior Services, help that hasn't arrived for nearly a month, making her wonder how to make ends meet. This is embarrassing, but like we've done spring cleaning so that we could clean out the house and sell stuff to be able to get a little bit of money. I don't want to sound like um, one of those people that have their hand out because we're not. The Alabama Department of Senior Services uses a company called Acumen to issue the payments. Prescott says she and other families in the state have been trying to contact the company. What do you do? Do you choose diapers and groceries and essentials to live or do you pay your power bill? We tried contacting Acumen as well, but were unsuccessful. So we reached out to the Alabama Department of Senior Services to see when Prescott will receive her next payment. They issued a statement that says in part, both the former management company and the new management company have assured ADSS they are processing payments as quickly as possible. ADSS is working with program participants and both management companies to resolve all payments as soon as possible. Prescott says the only form of communication she has received from Acumen are emails advising her payments are processing soon, hoping they will come sooner rather than later. We didn't, we didn't choose this, and God knows she didn't choose this. So she shouldn't have to suffer for it. And Robert Stale, Jeremy Jones, WKRG News 5.